right hey y'all welcome back to summertime tarot if you're new to the channel my name is summer all right and since valentine's day is coming up i decided to do some love readings right um so taurus let's get into it what's going on with the love scene um as a reminder these are general readings so they may not resonate with each and every one of you if it doesn't resonate, you know, feel free to check out the readings for your moon, your rising sign, any other sign in your birth chart you feel called to watch, right? And if those don't resonate, hey man, it's cool. Come back next time. Okay? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. All right, so with the Taurus folks. Kind of love. So bottom of the deck here, we have sundress. Do it for you. Then we have expectations. This came out in the reverse. It reads, don't seek anyone's approval. Then we have lioness. You've earned all your stripes. And then we have here, mourning the world awaits you. Okay, so with this expectations, right? Especially with it coming out in the reverse, I kind of get the feelings here. Some of you could be kind of in a in a sad or kind of low space when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships, right? I feel like your expectations, right? You could have had high expectations for someone um, when it comes to love. And that was kind of, it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. And because of that, I feel like you kind of, you may have put on like a tough exterior, right kind of like on to the next i'm good i'm good but at the same time there's still feelings here that i feel like may not be um may not have been resolved as of yet right but i feel like here with this lioness right you you know your worth you know who you are but at the same time there may still be some lingering feels that you that that need to be worked through here right and because of that you may not be as open to love at this current time, right? You may be kind of closed off kind of to yourself, maybe even kind of waiting for that special someone to kind of come in. But I feel like here with this expectation showing up in reverse, you may, you your hopes may not be high at this time because you still, you still may be working through some things, right? If you, if it wasn't that your expectations weren't met by someone, it could be like, you may have kind of lost hope when it comes to love for some reason or another. And you've kind of gotten into a rhythm rhythm of just kind of like being good by yourself. Maybe even kind of starting to lose a bit of hope, really wanting love. But at the same time, like when is, you know, when is my person going to come? That kind of thing. Okay, well, let's go ahead. Look at that, right? Because look, she's reading fairy tales. I feel like there may be some disappointment here when it comes to love. Maybe even, you know, kind of like I was saying, like, like losing hope here a bit. Kind of like the clock is ticking, like tick, 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 waiting, waiting, waiting. When is, when is my person going to come? <laughs> Excuse me. But let's go ahead. Get some more.
here we have the queen of cups bottom of the deck so i feel like some of you here with this queen of cups you may be like kind of healing here right we have under that we have the <coughs> Excuse me, the four of swords. Wow. Right. I feel like So the way this fell, right, we have the Hierophant and Death. It fell like, like this, okay? So for some of you, that kind of makes me think that there, there may still be a relationship that you're... I think, did I say this already? There may still be a relationship that you're still connected to that has, con that has like ended, but it hasn't ended. It's like ending but not right but we have the tower here as well <clears throat> this fell after the hierophant and um death here so i get the feeling here right we have the three we have the three of pentacles and the knight of cups here in reverse with the high priestess right so i feel like here with the high priestess and the tower there's this there's this feeling here that you can't ignore anymore that's really what i'm getting here there's this feeling here that you can't ignore anymore when it comes to a particular relationship or a mindset about relationships right for some of you it could be here right with this reading the fairy tales like i was saying like your expectations may be changing when it comes to relationships be it for good or be it for bad i feel like for some of you like i was saying you may have lost hope when it comes to love when it comes to relationships um because you haven't been getting what you what you've been expecting i feel like for most of you it's with one re relationship in particular <clears throat> and that is kind of causing you with this Knight of Cups in reverse, right? This Knight of Cups in reverse is in the feels for me, right? I feel like you may be kind of overwhelmed by your feelings about something, about, you know, maybe like really in disappointment, um, maybe even shocked, right? Like, I thought this was going to play out a different way. And because of that... You may be having a hard time trusting yourself and trusting others here. When it comes to love, when it comes to relationships, right? Because this is a relationship reading. I feel like you may be really afraid to invest in anything at this time, right? For some of you, it could be because you're still investing in this relationship over here. Be it, you know, actually in the physical or emotionally, right? You may still be emotionally invested in this relationship to the point where you're not thinking about anybody else you're not even wanting to put your energy or mind elsewhere <clears throat> but right we have this tower here i kind of want to clarify this tower being that it fell here i feel like this this may be something that for some of you, it may have this tower, right? This shift, this change may have already happened. And it may have left you feeling a bit uprooted here with this three of pentacles. Yeah, but for some of you, I do kind of feel like here with this hierophant and this this death, right? This is this is almost like a, a on the men is what's coming to my mind. So you may be kind of like trying to mend 
your relationship with yourself, right? To kind of get back to a space where you trust yourself, where you where you even kind of like trust or believe or have faith in love and relationships. Right? Let's go ahead and see <coughs> Excuse me <coughs> Who's moving towards you? Okay I really feel like, you know, it's important for me to say to, you know, really trust in yourself, right? If you feel like a relationship isn't giving, giving you what you need, right? You and you left it, right? You made the right decision for you. Make the right decision for you. Put yourself first, man. Hey. Put yourself first. Right? As it says, don't seek anyone's approval. Let's see who's moving towards you here. Right, some of you may even just be like at a space where you kind of saw your life going a certain way. Maybe like, you know, you expected to get married by 30, you know, have, settle down, have kids, yada, yada. But, like, maybe, you know, those tick marks came and went. And the things that you thought were going to happen didn't happen. And right now you're kind of at the space where you're kind of changing your idea of what your life would look like. Right? And kind of trying to be open to... The possibility of something something else coming something else you know another reality and the other possibilities that were different from what you had in mind to begin with right and i feel like if that is true right it may be kind of causing some some emotions here because you you know things didn't work out the way that you that you'd hoped or the way that you would expect it and now you have to kind of change your idea of what your life was going to look like. Right? So some of you may be in a very kind of like questioning stage. Right? So that's why I feel like this here, expectations, don't seek anyone's approval is here, right? Don't kind of focus on, you know, other people's ideas of what your life should look like or even you know your past self's idea of what your life should look like right focus on you know where you are now and what what makes you happy now okay but let's go ahead and see who's moving towards you Come on. <clears throat> about we have the higher friend showing up again <laughs> okay so bottom of the deck here we have three of the want three of the wands i don't know why i've been wanting to put the in front of wands lately but three of wands <laughs> okay so we have here the hierophant the knight of swords the five of pentacles and the emperor right so for some of you i feel like whoever this person is they okay for some of you right this could be a friend someone that you already have like 
a relationship with but it may be platonic you feel what i'm saying you may have like friends on this person um like you know that's just my pal <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's just my pal um but for others of you this may be a person that like has a different way of seeing the world right maybe even like different religious beliefs different just kind of like maybe different upbringing different background than you um right i feel like whoever this is right we have the five of pentacles so they may not be your type it's kind of basically what i'm getting right but i feel like the shell and bones of this person right the makeup who they are on a soul level is going to match match you match your vibe match whatever it is you intend right what you want in a partner that's okay that's basically what i'm trying to say here right they may not look how you imagined but what's within them is going to <laughs> what am i doing i don't know but that's what's going to be important here right so it's i feel like it's going to be important for you here to not focus on the external but to focus on the internal right to focus on right because i feel like here right we have the hierophant and the debt and death here right so i feel like your your idea especially with the towel showing up your idea of love or your idea of who your perfect partner is is changing right it could be because of you know something that didn't work out in the past or your experiences with other people and so it's going to be important for you here i feel to have an open mind right and to not be quick to cut off anybody because they don't look or have what you think they should they don't present themselves the way you think they should right it's still it's going to be important for you to focus on the makeup of this person who they are at a core level right because i feel hey no judgment zone i ain't coming for nobody but i feel like in the past you may have been focusing on the external a lot right it could have been i don't know how they looked how they dressed how much money they had or I don't know their family background or whatever i feel like that may have been what you were focusing on but with this tower here you may have come to realize okay that's not all that's important right that's not gonna cut it anymore this kind of idea isn't going to cut it anymore so just stay open-minded man that's basically what i'm saying here stay open-minded right spend some time thinking about what's important to you in a partner in a um in a relationship right what's what's like what are your um what's it called i can't think of the word deal breakers there we go what are your deal breakers right what what are your deal break deal breakers in a relationship what's like ultra ultra important to you right is it is it faith right is it i don't know they gotta be good to their mama whatever it is right think about that and you know focus on that right and if you if you know you know you like one of the magical folks you feel me you be you be lighting candles sit down and write your intentions for this new relationship this new partner down right but don't be focusing on <sighs> the the external okay focus on what's like really really important all right but let's go ahead and see what's blocking you here and then we're gonna get some advice and close it out okay
right, bottom of the deck here we have blinded to the pain. Okay. Then we have today for tomorrow and revenge. Mm. Yeah. Right, first, for some of you here, I kind of get the feeling here, you may be, okay, with these two cards, what I'm picking up here is, there may still be, like, some anger, right, with the revenge card here, there may still be some anger, some hurt feelings, some things that you haven't completely processed yet, <clears throat> that may be showing up, and making it hard for you to see anything better for yourself in the future right you may be here like you still could be like hurt or angry about how something played out in the past and then you may be here with this today for tomorrow kind of very much kind of closed off to anything better happening or anything better coming in um, I feel like there's a part of you here that really wants love, that really wants, you know, a, a stable, grounded, committed relationship, right? Whatever, whatever your dream is, right? You want that, but there's a part of you that is like, oh, you know, get your head out of your ass. That's not possible. That kind of thing, right? And because of that, you may come off very hard here. Like very wounded, very angry. But it's kind of just hurt that you haven't completely worked through. And it could even be here that you may be taking out your frustrations, your angers, your resentments on the the people that you the new folks, right? Your your new relationships, that kind of thing. You may be holding grudges and carrying them into your new relationships, if that makes sense. Which is making it hard for you to, I feel, kind of build better connections with these new people because you're still holding on to stuff from the past and kind of pointing fingers at this new person like, you're going to hurt me like they did. That kind of thing. Well, let's go ahead and clarify. And then we're going to get some advice. But I also get like this very like very protective like you may be very protective of yourself to where you don't let anyone in here you, you don't let anyone in um, to those vulnerable vulnerable parts within yourself so like say you're in a relationship and when it comes to kind of being vulnerable with each other kind of moving to that next stage to that next level you may kind of cut it off there because you you don't want to be hurt or you don't want to kind of open up to that person which may kind of stop your relationships from going any further from getting deeper if that makes sense okay Okay. Yeah. So we have the Six of Swords, the Knight of Cups showing up here again, the Empress, the Magician, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, like I was saying, I feel like, yeah, you may still be holding some traumas here that, that may be kind of...
that you, like I was saying, like you may be carrying them into your relationships, right? Because it's a need here to, with this empress, to kind of spend some time, you know, working, working on yourself, working through these hurts, these pains that you, that you may still have within yourself, right? So for some of you, it could be that you, you move from relationship to relationship without giving yourself the space and the time that you need to kind of reconnect back with yourself to work on you to get you straight you feel what i'm saying um and because of that because of like not giving yourself that time to breathe right you may kind of either attract to you folks that were like that past person or you may kind of recreate that same energy in this in this new relationship that was present in the past. You get what I'm saying? Hopefully I'm making sense. But let's go ahead and get some advice for you. And then we're going to get some goddess guidance. Okay, hold on. Excuse me. So we have here, believe there's magic all around you. Open up to the wonders of the universe. Notice the connections and synchronicities. Follow your feelings and believe with all your heart. We successfully manifest our dreams when our feelings are in, align are in alignment with our plans. From that sacred union, the right ideas take shape, the best relationships blossom, and the stuff that's meant to be easily falls into place. Everything is possible. Yeah. Okay, and then we have invite your fears to tea. Fears aren't facts. Often they're just scary thoughts or feelings. Instead of judging your fears, invite them to tea. Offer them a cookie and have a chat. Listen to what they have to say. When we're courageous enough to be with what scares us, we receive powerful wisdom. Yeah, okay. It's kind of time to kind of sit and reflect on some things. To feel those fears to you know give them the space and the time that they need to be heard and to be released so that you can come to, to a space where like you believe that what you want when it comes to love is possible okay but let's get your goddess guidance So bottom of the deck here, we have Sekhmet. Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Yes. Okay. And then we have here Ostara. Fertility. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. And I'm going to mess this up. Nematona. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of purple here. It's like a need to kind of clear out clear out your head when it comes to, right, with this tower. It's like a need to kind of shift your mind, to shift your mindset when it comes to love. And be open to new ideas, new possibilities, Right. To kind of let go of this idea that, you know, you know, I don't know. Love is pain or men are dogs or I'm never going to find that special someone. Right. It's kind of a need to kind of give yourself right the time that you need here with this sacred space to kind of heal that part of you to write to to. To be aware of it, but to kind of allow yourself to release that aspect of yourself here, right? With the today and tomorrow that feels like afraid of love and relationships or <clears throat> dreads it or feels like it's just going to end up totally bad, right? Because it's there for a reason, right? I'm not saying that you're crazy. You're not, right? You 
I'm sure you probably experienced something that made you feel that way. But if you want something different, you're going to have to be open to a new way of seeing things, a new belief system, right? Within yourself. Okay? But that's all I have for you, Taurus. I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. Peace out.